is the most unlikely of combinations, a revolutionary banker, a man who has loaned billions of dollars to millions of poor people, all of it without any collateral. Muhammad Yunus believes that credit is a basic human right. More than half the population of the world do not qualify to take a loan from the existing financial institutions. So unless we can create that environment, people cannot get on with their uh, life. A Grameen Bank Center is an organization which is made by few groups consisting of landless people. Every group consists of five members. Every week they meet with each other. There are discussions and meetings at the center regarding loan repayments, savings, solutions to problems faced by members, and acceptance of loan proposals. We wanted to open the door of the banks to provide the financial service to the poorest people. Banks thought they are not creditworthy. You can't lend money to the poor people. They will never pay back. So we started in a very humble way in one village, lending money to few people in that village without any collateral, without any guarantee, without any lawyers involved in it. And it worked. And it makes us very excited. And then we started expanding it and expanding it. And we, on the way, we created Grameen Bank. Today, we have nearly 8 million borrowers in Bangladesh, in Grameen Bank. 97% of them are women, starting as a very destitute women. Now they change their life because Grameen Bank gives them the loan. Grameen Bank lends out over $100 million a month in tiny loans, averaging about $220. And that money changes life. Aisha Begum took loans amounting 6,000, 8,000, 10,000 taka in second, third, and the fourth time, respectively which helped her business grow rapidly. Aisha Begum's basic loan is currently 40,000 taka, and she also has a micro-enterprise loan of 80,000 taka. With the loan money, she has increased the number of sewing machines in her business from one to three. Instead of just one, now three people are employed at her workplace. Eunice is loaning $20 each to thousands of beggars. But this time, not only will no collateral be required, there are no repayment plans either. Just like that first loan of $27 he made to a small group of women many years ago. Every center has 16 decisions for socio-economic improvement program, which has played a vital role in improving another member's lives. In her free time, she takes care of her papaya plant. When I come to a village and talk to the women who joined Grameen Bank 15 years, 20 years back, not only you see their faces and what they wear, how they live, and most of all, looking at the children, uh, the amazing children. Now they're in school, little kids in fifth grade, sixth grade, in colleges. Suddenly you become very optimistic. And today, they are moving out of poverty. Their children are in school. Grameen Bank gives them education loans. They go for higher education. Thousands and thousands of students are in higher education, becoming doctors, engineers, and other professionals out of these illiterate families. Our Ammoshi, Chhoto Bela, that he, Uchchu Madhyamik Port Jai Port Jundar, Jee Shahosh Dekhi, Chen Pora Shunar Bepari. Ir Pori Gramin Bank. তারচেও আরেক বড় এক ধরনের সাহস দেখিয়েছে শিক্ষা ঋণ দিয়ে কারণ তা না হলে আমার আম্মুর পক্ষে হয়তো উচ্চ শিক্ষার যে পর্যায়টা আছে সেটা কমপ্লিট করানো হতো না আর এই এই যে সাফল্যটা এই সাফল্যটা পেছনে একমাত্র অবদান হলো গ্রামীণ ব্যাংকের শিক্ষা ঋণের small loans are used to start small businesses such as mat weaving or preparing rice or ban leaves for market once a loan has been repaid, larger loans can be taken, some of them for hundreds of dollars. My husband drives a baby taxi. It costs 250000 I want to buy a rickshaw 
for 20 to 50,000 taka. So all we have done, just open the door for financial services. And the bank, Grameen Bank, is owned by the borrowers. The poor women, they own the bank. Bank makes profit, profit goes back to them as dividends.